Well hi everyone, welcome to another video as we take you with us kicking off our 2024 lap of Australia. By travelling from Brisbane we head out west then turn south and we travel through the beautiful outback of New South Wales down into South Australia and across to Sejuna. And it's here where we stop, we restock and we get ready to cross the mighty Nullarbor Plains. So this episode would be a great guide for those wanting to take this road trip who want to experience outback pubs, hot artesian springs, the magical allure of Lightning Ridge, station stays and beautiful remote camps. We show you the most stunning peninsula campsite on the west coast of the Air Peninsula and we finally wind down at Sejuna where we get to enjoy some of the beautiful culinary seafood delights of Smoky Bay Oysters. Okay, this is the last of it. Yay! So from there we headed out west. So I said to Tan, how about we go to Nindigully and um, and then move our way across to Lightning Ridge. But one of the things we really liked about the idea of that is that the Nindigully pub is the oldest licensed pub in Queensland. We set up camp uh, mid-afternoon and of course um, headed up to the pub for a cool ale and walked in and it was just like, a visual overload there's so much to see there yeah it's what you'd expect when you go into an old pub they <laughs> love putting things up on the walls and i think every every different pub has their sort of signature and this one had the um the hats mainly of all the shearers and farmers and cockies and they're all sort of pinned to the wall just something about river camping watching it slowly meander by um, I remember rising the next morning fairly early and um, going outside, walking down to the river and there was just this red golden glow um, reflecting on the water. So of course I went and woke Pete up and he just got some amazing drone photography. So just fringing the Queensland New South Wales borders is a really tiny town called Gaduga and it just happens to have the most amazing artesian hot spring baths and um, Pete had noticed that there was a free camp right beside it and we thought yeah we'll check it out see what it's like well it was perfect. Yeah. The funny thing was we were coming in and we were like let's have a bath this is going to be so good and it's 44 degrees. Of course, we're doing out of season, guys, because we're traveling down to, you know, Western Australia. Yeah. Otherwise, we wouldn't be there. Yeah. However, it's well known the spot to be very popular with caravanners. And I said to Tan, let's get in early because we might get a spot. <laughs> well, we got there and we had the whole place to ourselves. <laughs> So we finally made it to Lightning Ridge. Uh, it's somewhere we've both wanted to go for a very long time. It was surprising and we really enjoyed it. One of the reasons is just the amazing 
rocky outcrops, the vast, vast terrain, the opal country, the sandy ridges, um, and just checking out the way people live differently out there. The Lightning Ridge um, Visitor Centre was very, very helpful and they gave us um, some brochures. But one of the brochures was this, these car door tours. And what it is is that they've got these old car doors and they're different colours. And so on the brochure you follow the red tour, the green tour, what, what else was it? The yellow it's tour. yellow, blue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then we sort of headed off, um, we stayed a couple of nights and one of the tours sort of said go to the top of this ridge and um, you'll get a, a spectacular sunset. Oh, it, it truly took our breath away. You end up out on this sort of like a peninsula at the end of a ridge which is 180 degrees views and you are just looking out over these huge sponsors, never ending sponsors of Opal Country, and watched the longest sunset. Yeah, so I wanted to put the drone up uh, to capture it, and um, all of a sudden the drone wouldn't take off. So I had a look on the, on the uh, monitor and it said, oh, it's a restricted zone. And I was like, oh, I put it on the end of the back of the car and put it on time lapse and just basically let it do its own thing. And, it, you know, because it's on a ridge, it jolly well looks like it's flying. <laughs> yeah. And of course, you're so caught up in the filming of these amazing experiences um, that you, you really don't really know what you capture until you drive back, you get in the van, you download everything and then check it out. So we're at Lightning Ridge and it's about quarter to eight at night and we've just watched the most spectacular sunset we've ever seen. They're long and slow and beautiful and when you have a little bit of elevation you can just watch it slowly or in other words you watch the actual earth turn away from the sun and hence you get these sunsets and you see the sun disappear. It's amazing. I'm truly grateful for this experience. It's mind blowing. We hope you enjoyed part one of our Brisbane to Sejuna trip. In the next episode, part two, we take you from Lightning Ridge down into South Australia's outback and finish in Sejuna. This is where we get ready to cross the Nullarbor and into Western Australia. Please make sure you like and subscribe to catch the next episode.